A recurring question since Elden Ring launched has been what exactly the deal is with Irina and Hayata. The two maidens share a voice actress, have similar lines of dialogue, dress and attack identically, and the requirement for Hayata to appear is for Irina to be killed by the misbegotten. Game files indicate that their dialogue is nested inside each other's. All in all, it would seem that Hayata is Irina in some way, or perhaps another person possessing her. By the end of the game, the player encounters Shabriri, who would seem to confirm those suspicions. Shabriri claims that Yura granted his flesh to him when he died, though the player may be led to their own conclusions about the truth of those words. The questions become, how did this happen? Can Shabriri simply possess people's bodies? What about Hayata? There is some cut content that may shine a light on these questions. Kale has some cut lines that talk about the merchants and the flame of frenzy. I have a lot of brothers. Our travels keep us separate, but at the same time, we are together. I am my brothers and they are I. The lines between us, burning bit by bit. It seems that this iteration of Kale was a lot more informed about the frenzied sickness that follows the nomads. It is the curse. The curse of red eyes. Its fire spreads. Creeping surely, imperceptibly. Anger diffuses amongst us, blurring the lines. When one of us is angry, it makes me angry. Or was it I who was angry first. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing what makes me who I am. Even this blazing curse. At one point, it was explicit that the despair of the frenzied sickness blurred the lines between people together. The curse of the red eyes, it should be noted, is referring to the frenzied sickness, as the eyes of the frenzied were red at this earlier stage in development as the cut to St. Trina's crystal ball from the network test files corroborates. On the subject of St. Trina, there are some more cut lines from either Kale or another merchant that continue to shed a light on Frenzy. The cursed flame burns inside our eyelids, corroding the lines that separate us. That's what the instrument is for. The timbre of its song calms the flame, however slightly caressing, gently, so that we don't blend together. Our song derives from an old lullaby, sung for us, long ago, deep inside our tomb, but whoever it was sings no longer. Its melody allowed us to sleep, despite the cursed flame. The enigmatic figure who lulled the merchants to sleep to calm their blazing red eyes may have been Saint Trina in this older version of the Nomad's story. This becomes especially compelling considering the 1.0 version of the soporific Greece names her the Saint of the Cradle Song. In an older build, Kale would have the player collect Dream Mist too. And although it isn't clear what exactly may have triggered it, the prior NPC also has dialogues talking about the cursed flame dying out so that the merchants can finally rest. That the cursed flame dies out. And we can finally rest. Saint Trina is deeply related to sleep and unconsciousness. If the existential terror that ignites frenzy comes from awareness of the suffering in life, then the unawareness of sleep may prevent the frenzied blending together. With all of this in mind, we may be able to discern the exact nature of Yura and Irina's relationship with Shabriri and Hayata. The situations of both characters come down to despair at the conditions of their deaths, which leads to their transformation. Yura dies despairing for his love, Eleonora, who was consumed by cessblood, and so the lines distinguishing him as a person melt away, making way for the influence of Shabriri. As the ghost near the Revengers shack says, love and revenge, the frenzied flame melts it all away. Just like Edgar was driven mad with despair and vengeance after Irina's death. It seems Yura's condition may have been building up for a while as he tracks down Eleonora, 
since cut content reveals that the worms he curses after his Leonia encounter are dwelling in the back of his eyes. The worm-like writhing that has long plagued the back of my eyes is spreading to my brain and heart. Tangentially, a cut NPC exists in the Japanese files called World Worm Frenzy Fingers. That may draw the connection between these worms and the Blight of Frenzy. Irina similarly dies, despairing for her stubborn father, and the melting lines allow Hayata to take hold. It is worth noting that the name Hayata seems to derive from a species of butterfly that I won't butcher here, but this hints at the transformation motif. This may not be an intentional or even malevolent takeover, as Hayata seems completely unaware of the path she is treading until the player reveals the nature of Shabriri grapes to her. Perhaps Shibriri taking Yura's flesh was similarly passive, though his more sinister demeanour makes this a dubious assertion to say the least. Burn the Erd Tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world! May chaos take the world! I'd like to thank everyone in the Ward Discord server that discussed the script with me, and I'd also like to thank Evie for his audio-only dialogue spreadsheet, which catalogues these more obscure pieces of cut dialogue for us to look at. Both the server and the spreadsheet are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.